EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey, yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now, now. Right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pow, pow Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now, now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown Step back, let me get some room. Congrats every time I'm through. Same packing nobody knew. So I never get confused. Hotel get a bird's eye view. Hotel get a waiting room. Read a magazine while you wait for me. Baby, I'll be done so soon. soon. Phone gotta be off each store. Got locks, I got some trusted shoes. Okay. 10K on the countertop, don't look so shocked. It's nothing new. Okay. Death comes in threes. Three. Wins come in twos. Two. Cash comes in ones. One. Throw it up, celebrate some news. Hey. I do a good job, pull up and pop out and pull off. True. Hat on and hood on, pedal to metal when I put my foot on. I got to put on, I got a bad one, they wanna keep me. Oh, that's a good one. Pockets are dense, I think my bread is hard as a crew. receipts in my pocket, don't come with a coupon. Aye, yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pounds. Somebody gon' want revenge, somebody might win it now. now Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left, touchdown Touchdown, A floor, come down, hotel, lobby Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. This one taken from the seven. Coverage almost picked, but instead they'll keep it on second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. The first carry for the legend, it's Bo Jackson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep for the Panthers, D.J. Moore. 
And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. So this punt sails out of bounds across midfield. Now the question, they're going to spot it right at the 40, the 40-yard line. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Check 24, check 24. Gun, gun, gun. Eight, eight. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Brian Burns in to drop him behind the line for a loss of a yard. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A big play there. 61 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Deal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Give him 30 yards there. First and 10 at the 50 yard line. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. Field now. Here's Jackson. Steps away to it. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. On second down, it's Jackson. Nine yards on the pickup, but even after that, they're left with a third and very long. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing him further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Here's Jackson on third and low. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brian Burns in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. 
The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. His second sack of the night. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I'd file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Throwing on third down, Newton. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They will go for it. Now Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Jackson on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. On second down, this is Jackson. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Joe McCoy is always going to be linked with Indomitian Sue. They came into the NFL in the same draft class. There's a lot of debate about who was going to be the better defensive tackle. They just do it two different ways. McCoy, more movement, more elusiveness. That allowed him to make the play there for a short game. On third down, Jackson escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my It's caught inside the 25. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. D.J. Moore, 75 yards. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. Gonzalez to add the PAT. And the 
swims right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This will be taken short. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now it's Jackson. And that's off the mark, incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Third and long. Jackson buying time to his left. That's complete to Largent. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 23 yards, the final tally. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Watch safety creep. Watch safety creeping. Safety's creeping. Go, go. 36. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brian Burns able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson eluding the pressure right. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Looking deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to kick it away. And he puts a little something extra into this one, by far his best of the night. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Check three, check three. Great, great, great. Check nine, nine. Throwing again. 
Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jalen Ramsey with a sack on the corner blitz. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Under 10, under 10, 10. From the gun, here's Newton. Flush to his right. It's caught, Jones. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A really good pickup of 28 yards. On first down, it's Newton. Forced out to his left. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. 20. Greg Green. Greg Green. Eight. Eight. Lucky. Lost ball. Hey, Smith. I got motion. I got motion. Seven. To throw on second down is Newton. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Check left. Check eight. 20. 20. Third and long, it's Newton. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And you're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? What needs to be going through the play caller's mind right now, a potential fumbled snap that can get returned. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Jadavian Clowney, his second sack of the night. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making them sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. Yeah, 
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Stops to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go into the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Back to throw. Newton dancing to his left. And the pressure gets to him again. Reggie White on the sack there, showing the explosiveness that led him to the Hall of Fame. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. They run on first down with Jackson. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Tough first half for him. Unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Throwing on second and eight. Jackson steps away to his left. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. So I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, but frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, it got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held yeah. out. They had to force the field goal. This fielded at the two. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Yeah. 
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. And a throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. 11 yards and a Panther first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Jalen Ramsey right there in coverage to knock it away. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Mike, number 53, Mike 53. to the air, Newton on second down. Quick slant, caught by Moore. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're gonna get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. They'll take over. First down and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to... Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Brian Burns bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Jackson, and he's going to be brought down back at his own six-yard line. And a sack by one of the most consistent D linemen in the game, Gerald McCoy. Sack, Betty. Sack, Betty. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Instead, they go empty backfield as they look to throw. That's caught by Jackson. 